Kamusta lahat? Welcome to Pinoy Crossover, the basketball show for the Filipino community. My name's PJ. Joining me is Marky Mart with the scarf as always. JR can't be here. He's doing some homework. Stay in school, kids. Listen, it's exciting. The season has just came to an end. There's a lot of things going on and there's a lot of things that we have to talk about later yes. in the show. Yeah. But first, there was one event that we didn't highlight on the show. Uh, it happened, I don't know, last month maybe? It's a couple of weeks ago couple actually weeks ago. though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, a, it's a, a great experience. It's the second year they've been doing it. And uh, it's a second opportunity for us to be part of the Filipino Heritage Night at Hershey Center. So what we're going to show you guys is some of the clips of us being part of it and also interviewing the, uh, the leaders of the, in the community that have made it happen. So check this out. We're at the Hershey Center. It's Filipino Heritage Night. Rise, time to rise. Shout out to you guys. Guys, give us a shirt. But today is a great day because Filipinos get together. We had some little kids playing in the start, but let's enjoy being one, being united. Mark, are you excited? Filipino leaders in the community are here tonight and today, because it's about two o'clock right now, and they're here to celebrate Filipino heritage. So I hope you guys are here too, and I hope when we see you guys there, you're gonna come say hi to us, and we're gonna interview some interesting and some fans here, Filipino fans that love basketball and here to watch the Raptors 905. It's the second time they're doing this, so it's gonna be bigger, better. We're here. We got the shirts on. Go get your shirts. And can, let's continue supporting the Filipino Heritage Night. Check these, check these highlights out. <laughs> it's getting bigger and bigger each and every year. Oh my gosh. How, how, much, how much Filipinos have signed up like through, through uh, the website? We're still counting the numbers, but I, I could imagine it's probably like hundreds, if not thousands. So, you know, there's a huge Filipino population in Mississauga and the GTA. So it's great that we're being recognized and coming together, bringing our heritage, our culture, and love for basketball together. So, yeah, we have a Filipino choir singing the national anthem. We got some Filipino uh, basketball kids doing um, a halftime uh, show. So I think it, it's, it's a whole immersive Filipino show tonight. What does it mean to have all the Filipinos come here for this event? Well, it just shows that the number one sport for Filipino is basketball. That's why we're all here. That's correct. And how many people have how, how many people from JX have come here with you uh, to watch this game? Well, the Jayhawks are around 220 people right here, mm. just for Jayhawks alone. Mm. Yes, we support 905. We support. Tell us, you know, a little bit about the kids that you're coaching and, you know, how's it been so far coaching Filipino kids and playing basketball and teaching them how to play fundamental basketball? How they are now, they're all, two, what, the kids I have here, they're all 2009, uh, they play for um, Filipino community uh, tournament, summertime and uh, leagues over, over the winter time. Um, how's it like coaching them? They're very hungry for the ball and that's, that's what I like. They're always, they're always there, they always, they always go for, they always listen. That was such a fun night. It was great to be there. Again, shout out to Rise Tribe, hashtag time to rise. Lou Rose and all the people involved with that organization. That was fun for us. Again, we were there. We got to see a lot of Filipinos, you know, support basketball. It was fun time, Mark. What did you enjoy about being at that place? I think uh, what I enjoyed the most is just the families and the kids. Like we had, we saw a bunch of uh, teams. Like actually, the, you know, the whole team, the Jayhawks brought their own like little kids, the teams and the coaches and the family of the kids are there together watching the game. And it's fun to see that because, you know, it, it's, it's a way for us to unite. Basketball is one thing that really brings us all together. So to be able to see, uh, in a sense, see families and see Filipino leaders in the community working together to make it happen and to, to show Filipino pride, that's one thing that, you know, that makes me happy. And it, it shows to us that you know, there's ways for us to always bring 
uh, each other together, and that's what I enjoyed about it the most. It was also a great game because obviously the Raptors 905. What his name Lorenzo? Lorenzo Brown went off mm -hmm. at the end, we, and it, and it was and it was just because he is the MVP of mm -hmm. the the G League. The G League. And it was, it was a good time to be there. Uh, we hope all the Filipinos in Canada can go check that in Canada or <laughs> in nearby, yeah, yeah. can check out the game. But we want to see a Raptors night. That's going to be the goal. The Toronto Raptors Filipino night. Filipino Heritage Night mm -hmm. at Toronto uh, ACC, watching the Raptors. That's going to be the next step, right? Even though it wasn't the real Toronto Raptors, just the community and just seeing support with all the people. And we ran to people we knew, mm -hmm. which is the main point of basketball, bringing people together, get people talking again, and just have that positive atmosphere. Right? Positive vibe, yeah.